Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video. Today we want to cover Ocean Protocol. It's not a coin I normally cover, but I might keep an eye on it for channel members. It's a coin that um, a lot of channel members requested, so I can prioritize channel member requests and therefore we're going to take a look at it today. Can't promise we cover it regularly, but I will try to put it into the member only videos um, on a weekly basis if it shows further potential. So what we see here, I want to first take a look at the higher level count here. Yeah? Interesting with this count or chart is that it really rallied in, it rallied in five waves. So we have a possible wave one here and it topped in April 21. That's good because there are charts which did not top in five waves. And if a chart didn't top in five, uh, if a chart yeah, topped only in three waves, it is a corrective structure. But here we can count five waves up so I can label that as a wave one and the move down is a three wave structure ABC and we can count it in a wave two and then we should get the three four five eventually if it works out so um, there is never a guarantee with altcoins but um, this has the advantage that we can you know calculate some targets and so on so wave one let me change the wave degree here first and um, then we came down in an ABC structure a wave B wave and three waves and then the C wave down it could have bottomed yeah it could have bottomed it certainly has a nice bottom bottoming stru structure um, it's too early to really confirm though because what we always need is five waves up and three waves down now the good thing is we have a possible five waves up already so at the moment in my opinion it doesn't make sense to chase but it depends on your own portfolio and your decisions but um, what we can do and I just show it to you from a higher level point of view at this stage. So when we get the five waves complete here in a wave one again, basically a wave one of the wave three, then to wait for the wave two retracement, pull back and um, scale in, you know, for anybody who wants to trade it. And I will, um, yeah, you know, that's what I mean. I, I keep an eye on that um, for, for you and for the channel members specifically in the weekly videos. What we can do, we can draw a trend line from the tops and we've nearly reached that. Now, I can't promise that this is going to be relevant, but it's a bit of an obvious one because you can connect these two spikes and we might hit it here at around 64 cents. Maybe this will be the spike of the wave one. At the moment, what we can see is that the price previously established itself below the 88.7% FIB level for a few months, but it has now moved out of it, which is good. So the 88.7% FIB is like the last FIB level on the scale. Um, never good if a coin drops below that, but it has recovered in, a impress in an impressive way off the lows. It is now rallied like 350%. That's decent. Um, and it's, an, it's a good, it's a nice rally, you know, in the current, um, in the current uh, environment here. Now, this is sort of where we are. What I wanted to talk about is the possible all time high targets for that. We can take the length of the wave one and we go to the low of the wave two and we look for the 1.618 extension as a first target. It's normally the area between the 1.618 and the 200% extension between 325 and 399, which would be realistic for this third wave. Now I cannot, um, I cannot guarantee to you that first of all, that we get there, um, but I can't also guarantee to you that this is going to be the first wave of the third wave. It might just be the first wave of the first wave of the third wave. So there might be another layer of waves, you know, be in between. That's what we need to see. It's a bit too early for that. Um, certainly the whole thing looks like a descending triangle. So be aware, um, that this resistance around 64 cents might become relevant. Um, but yeah, wave three target, that's an all-time high target provided we get above $2 roundabout, yeah. And then we should get a shallow wave four and another wave five to the upside that could take us. Textbook target would be around $5. So good 10 10X from here, the 2.618 Fibonacci extension level. Now let's take a look at the four hour chart. So volume is going up, but bear in mind, you know, a lot of the altcoins are currently going up. So it's not something that only Ocean is doing, but performance is quite decent. It would have bottomed here. That is the low on the 21st of November. And the um, it could be 
that this is all playing out as a diagonal pattern. Yeah? So that we had here, because it's quite a, a nuggly wave one, but we had here wave one, two, this was a possible three, four, you certainly have five waves. So we have five waves, which means the move up um, has enough waves to be a to, to show in a wave two retracement with a high probability, a lower high. Yeah, it's different to all these corrective rallies that we had before. This was a clear three wave structure, A wave, B wave, C wave. And here you had a possible five waves, but it was also only a diagonal. This at least here, mm, I mean, it doesn't need to be a diagonal. This could be, I never trust these sm these spikes here, right? Um, it could also be a couple of one, two setups, but that's not so important now. What is important is that we have, if you zoom out five waves up and that we then, as we see a possible decline and at the moment there is no sign it is declining yet. It's actually going up in quite a parabolic way um, as altcoins often do when the sentiment is shifting. Um, but hey, you know, what we need to confirm a bear market low is in is we need that wave two retracement. So from the current low, and I can't promise you it stops here, it will probably rally a tiny bit higher or quite a bit. Um, current support area for the wave two would be between th 35 cents and 21.7. Meaning if it drops down and drops below 21.7, this whole rally failed to create an impulse. And in the end, all this rally was corrective. Yeah, possibly here in an A wave, a B wave and a long C wave extension, which is possible. Therefore, we need that wave two to hold to give support, which will be also a high probability entry point if we come down um, in a wave two. Note that a wave two can be shallow. In most cases, it's not shallow though. And if it's not shallow, it doesn't really give you an edge to scale in. So again, you know, if you wanna get into ocean, I wouldn't chase it now. I would wait for some kind of a retracement to give a better view of where we are in the structure. I gave you a clear target here, clear resistance. And that's not also the, it's not only this trend line here. You also have this area here, which is going to provide resistance. I mean, just to see if you see this area here, where you have all these previous spikes. So I'm going to highlight that in red, just to highlight this is a resistance area, um, which is going to be relevant. Where is the, yeah. So, and you can see if we zoom out a bit that it's exactly here around this 60 cent level that the VRVP, you know, you have another, you have a bit of an, an, a spike in historical volume, probably the biggest spike that we've had since it started to rally off 45 cents. So that could exactly together with these previous highs and the structure, by the way, you have a support, you had support here, you had resistance here. So it's quite a relevant area. Um, so there could be a bit of a bounce. I don't know at this stage, obviously, if it comes down from here in wave two, but it's, it's a bit of a resistance that we can see here. Yeah, just to note what we did, what we had previously, resistance, significant high, resistance, support, resistance. Yeah, so there's, there's all sorts of stuff going on in this area. So um, this is probably an area where the price will react in some shape or form and it's between 60 and 74 cents. Need to see how we react to that level. For now we are still, if you zoom out, sort of in this range. A lot of coins are currently creating this sort of possible cup shape, but it's an ugly one. So I wouldn't trust this one. Um, some have a really nice round shape. Um, and then in a wave two, you could, could get this sort of handle. Now mm, saying that um, in the last bull run it started with some coins in a similar way, but I don't want to call a bottom here. Yeah, what we do is we're waiting for evidence, but of course these supports will be, you know, we, it's the first time I cover this coin, but you will be able to, to trade it um, if you want to, you know, I will certainly look at these wave twos. Some coins might create some good ones. Some coins might only create shallow ones and the shallow ones I don't intend to trade because it's not an ideal structure, but oops, but if we see a coin that does a deep retracement into the area between the 50% retracement and the 78.6, it might be worth starting to scale in. Even if at this stage, this could just be a large ABC structure, um, which eventually will make a new low, you know, we could at least trade the C wave. Okay, and that's my update about um, Ocean Protocol. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. 
And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.